It's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and I have your readings here for the week starting the 3rd of April 2022. I'm using my teacup tarot deck, and these are general readings for each of the zodiac signs. So take from them everything you can, leave behind anything that doesn't resonate with you. And I hope you really enjoy the readings. If you do, click that subscribe button and make the bell ring. Then you'll get notified when I do the next ones for you. So enjoy the readings and I'll see you soon. This is the reading for Scorpio. And your overall energy here is the card, the King of Pencils. Now the King of Pencils is very emotionally balanced. The King of Pencils is a wonderful public speaker. The King of Pencils brings along with them advice and motivation. And the King of Pencils is someone we would turn to for information on things that we perhaps wouldn't come across in everyday life. It could be a legal matter, it could be complex paperwork. Someone we could turn to for advice, someone who is at the top of their field with all this complex knowledge. So here is the King of Pencils right here to help you with all this information this week. Our hurdle, we have the Queen of Teacups. Now the Queen embodies charity, humanity and humility. She makes sure that everyone in her orbit feels emotionally loved and cared for. She also needs to make sure that before she can do all this for everybody else, that her own needs are met. So just make sure that you look after you first before you start helping everybody else. Take a break if you need it, have some time out, have some rest and relaxation if you need it before you make your next move forward and before you get out and start helping other people. Our help, we have the card, the five of wands. And this reminds you to avoid anybody else's drama. Our lovely angel here, look, she's out in a thunderstorm. She's well prepared. She's got her umbrella. She's got her Wellingtons. She can hear it going on in the background, but she's walking towards the sunshine. She's simply focusing on where she needs to go. And she's leaving all of that noise in the background. So if there are any conversations that don't need to concern you, anybody else with issues that don't concern you, simply walk past and leave it with them. How can we help ourselves? We have Cart 20, Reflection. This is about stopping, having a break, and then deciding on your next adventure. Then after that, you'll make your move to climb to new heights. Now, a lovely angel here, look, she stopped for a cup of tea and a picnic. And she's realising how far she's come. She's realising how well she's doing. And while she's in this lovely place of rest and relaxation, she can start planning her next adventure. Number eight, the justice card is here just to remind you to follow your moral compass this week. Acting with fairness, acting with wisdom, acting with integrity will help you move forward on your path. So just embodying those lovely qualities of justice and fairness are right here for you. It ties in nicely with the King of Pencils. Sometimes the king is a real expert in legal matters. Here's another card of fairness and justice, just asking you to be mindful of those lovely qualities. Our guidance, we have the nine of wands. This is the card of persistence and determination. This card says, yes, you can. Just keep going. 
So look at our angels here. This one's nearly at the top of the tree. She's kept going. She's nearly there. So be determined, keep going, stay persistent, and then look. We have the Page of Wands bringing in wonderful news of new ideas, creative projects. There's information coming in for you here. Lots of positivity, positive change for you. So just keep going. And then these lovely new opportunities can find you. Look, she's collecting them here, putting them in the basket, and she can start work on those very quickly. And the outcome, we have the Knight of Coins. This is the card of planning. This is the card of plan A, plan B, and plan C. Our lovely knights in the deck all have motorbikes. And the Knight of Coins is the only one not riding theirs because they're looking at the map. She knows once she's got all the plans in place, when she gets back on the bike, not only will she know exactly where she's going, she'll know exactly how to get there and this move forward will be easy, it'll be quick and she'll know exactly what she's doing. And a beautiful outcome card for you here. The 10 of teacups, it's emotional fulfillment, it's happy home life, it's everyone being together, feeling happy, spending quality time with one another and emotional needs are all met. Look at the angels here, the whole family are together. They love being together and they're enjoying that quality time with each other. So just to summarize for you, advice and suggestions from someone, an expert in their field could be here for you this week. Motivation, the King of Pencils helps motivate you to keep going. They're here to help you here. A lovely positive card here of help, advice and motivation. Make sure that your needs are met, that you're looking after yourself and avoid anybody else's drama. Realise how far you've come and how well you're doing and keep moving forward with wisdom and with fairness. Keep going and know that these wonderful new opportunities are here for you. These new ideas, this new information, and then make your plan, get ready to hop back on the motorcycle and make that positive move towards happiness, emotional fulfillment, and a beautiful, contented family life with those you love. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button and make the bell ring, and you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.